the ignite and cleanse, so he's not going to be able to make it back super fast. So it looks like he's choosing to stay in it. He's going to have some decent health. He's got a couple hundred here, so... Oh, maybe he's choosing to go back now at level 7. Looks like it. Well, Bad Filto sure is taking his time coming back. There he goes, charging in with the shield and the double Doran's ring. Looks like he's getting in there with the last hits. Taking one there, taking one there. He's going to press the tower, but Bob Fetty's probably, elect hopefully, an electric surgeon his way in. No? Maybe I missed one. Ooh, all right, so... <clears throat> just barely whiffing that one. That was actually... Looks like it was just at the edge of the range. That shuriken has, like, deceptive animation. Like, it, like, fades out and then kind of misses at the same point. Charging him with the shield gets. I think he's got enough to be last hitting now. I don't know what his runes are, but I think if at this point he can last hit the ranged minions with one shield, then he's got. Oh no, never mind. Now it's Bob Fatty's turn to harass with the shield and the. I mean, they're both back up now, but he doesn't have the mana to sustain that. Um, type of harassment and Bob Fetty's HP is going up quick. Speaking of which I should check his item. So he's got sorcerer's shoes and maybe another health potion? I don't even think he used the first one. So the action's heating up but I really think Bob Fetty should just be taking a slight advantage more of the Every four shurikens, I don't know what it's called. I mean, the, the explosive shuriken that comes from the W skill. I mean, it's good for last hitting, too, but... Oh, bumping the mic there. Yeah, like a pro. It's cold in my room. Got the air conditioning running. Oh, all right, so we got... There we go. That's what I like to see. I mean, even still, he's got a fair amount of health, but... He's only has two. Yeah, he's only has two. He only has two Doran's rings, so it's not like he can regenerate a lot of health like that. And the there you go. That's what I like to see. Now you can pop the W on him for a stun. Get an attack in there. Yeah, that's the Bob Fatty I like to see. Are you listening to me commentate live on my not live stream because I'm recording this into a video? I think so. There we go, get the damage in there. Well, not the damage, but the mark. Pop the ultimate, and I think... Oh, no ultimate. Oh, is he going to get the kill anyway? Yes, he is. And that's game. I'll see you guys in game three. All right, here we are, round three. We have Heimerdinger versus Kennen, and this should be an interesting match because Kennen's Q ability works pretty great at uh, taking out those turrets. And early on, Heimer can't really afford the mana. Looks like uh, Bob Fatty went for the same opening build as last time. So, Mechie Pendant and two potions over here. This should be a pretty good battle, I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, Heimer's able to push still, I think, but the Q is going to allow him to farm pretty well. I think he should be using the Q. There we go. Just toss that Q all the time. Non-stop Qing him. Q Qing him. Because he has that mana, so there's no reason to not... There we go. He's using it for last hits. I see him. Ooh, juking the grenade there. Obviously, no one Heimer's going for. Probably a push build here. Going to be quite annoying. Able to hide behind the turrets. Heimer is just very powerful. Very, very powerful. And so far, the games are evened up. Bob Fatty won with Kennen vs. Scion. And first game... Bad Fildo won with, uh, what's his name, Pantheon versus Tristana. Let me turn on the light in my room. It's getting kind of dark in here. It's getting dark in here. So turn on all the lights. All right, I'm going to eat a goldfish here. I'll make this professional commentary even more. Professional, oh, see Bob Fatty taking that down quick as hell. Same thing with that one. He could just take the turrets down, uh, put the towers down, turrets down pretty quick now, and he's got the 
He's got the harassment capabilities, and Badfield though can't keep putting the turrets down. The mono just doesn't really support it. He's gonna have to start taking some blows or something for it. And Bob Fetty's doing a pretty good job of not. Doesn't seem like Fildo's getting this. Doesn't seem like Fildo is getting much. Eh, I guess he's getting a couple here and there. 19 to 16. Bob Fetty is leading. But the push is on. I mean, so far he hasn't gotten any damage. Tossing a grenade, wow. Actually, let me see what this. See what we got here. Um, doesn't look like. Oh, he does have teleport. So teleport and clarity for Badville, though. So that's actually a pretty solid combination, I think. It's gonna allow him to pretty much lane forever. As soon as he gets enough for uh, five philosopher stones, he'll be in the lead for show. Not a thing Bob Fatty could do to that infinite Philosopher Stone build. Shit is ridiculous, son. And unable to lure most of them to the turret. Look at this turret. Like, sometimes these turrets are just retarded. It's ridiculous. It's like, what are you doing, stupid turret? This turret's firing at it. It's like right here. It's like, great job. That was a nice whiff there by Bad Phil, though. And Bob Fatty doesn't. Eh, going for the Q there, getting some last hits. And he's kind of unable to engage now, or, or then, but he's good to go now. Take that tower down, or that turret down pretty quick. Oh, get it. One more. And the other one's taking some damage from the creep. Now he's uh, upgraded to the green turrets. And he's probably going to have his ultimate. Dealing a little damage there, but not nearly enough to scare bad Phil away. I don't think he's popped a potion. He can hold out for a lot longer. Uh-oh, Bob ba Fatty getting aggressive. Is he going to get the kill here? Woo! Kenan, Bob Fatty's been practicing. GG, I'll see you guys in game four.